Hi everyone, it's Hannah here from Blue Ferret Boarding on brand. So this time we're going to talk about what they call induced ovulation. Now earlier on I talked about the fact that a jill if left in season can actually get very poorly and in some instances can die. That is because as it says on the tin, jills have to be induced, their ovulation has to be induced, which means they don't just release an egg the way human women will just release an egg at that time of the month. Let's talk, call it what it is. With ferrets and with gills, that doesn't happen. And it's the actual act of coitus, the penetration, and the also the scruffing and the pain on the neck. It's those things together which induce the gill to ovulate. And until that gill has actually ovulated, she will stay in season. So, there are four real ways to bring a gill out of season to make her ovulate. The first is to get a full male to breed ferrets from that. The gill will ovulate, she will become pregnant, there will be litters. And this is what happens every summer and there are so many unwanted kits. I'm not going to go down that street again. You know how I feel. The second is to get what we call a vasectomized hob, which is pretty much what it says on the tin. Now, these are sometimes called hoblets. I know it's great. I've never heard it called that, but I've read it being referred to as hoblets before. And a hob, a vasectomized hob, because he's doing the same deed, it's just that some of the wires have been disconnected, he will still bring the gill into ovulation. So you can use a vasectomized hob. However, like with other animals or other mammals, vasectomies aren't 100% certain. So there are still occasions where you could get a pregnancy, an unwanted pregnancy by using the vasectomized hob. And furthermore, the ferrets are still going through the actual physical act of copulation, which is pretty unappealing, let's just say. So that's the first two. The third way of bringing a gill out of season is what they can sometimes describe as chemical neutering. Um, but think of it more like similar-ish to HRT um, for women of a certain age. And essentially that's when the gill is injected with a hormone that her body will recognise and that is basically reprogramming her body to come out of season. And that is a good stopgap way of keeping a gill safe, keeping her healthy and keeping her out of season without having to breed her with a vasectomized or a full male. However, that's only, it's not a permanent solution and gills do have to be jabbed. I think it's usually once a year, sometimes a bit more, but you have to watch it. It depends very much on the gill as well, but it's not a long-term solution. So the fourth way then is physical neutering, which would be through spaying. And that is when they take out literally physically a little bit of surgery and they take out part of the reproductive uh, organs of the female gill, of the gill. Now that is similar again to a human hysterectomy um, and some people might think it's harsh however it's very safe and it's a very routine operation for a healthy ferret and it means it, it's permanent and you know that that ferret is safe she's unlikely to well she'll certainly not have any kits but she's unlikely to be seen in the same light by a a, a male. She may, but the likelihood is that she won't have her Chanel de ferret on and be seen as a target by the male. So that's basically the four ways of taking a Jill out of ovulation or keeping her safe. And as I say, we'll talk about the illnesses relating to a uh, Jill who's kept, who, who stays in her ovulation, who stays in season. We'll talk about that later in the year when we talk about illnesses, but be aware it's there. And if you have any questions about this, do please contact us or contact the Ferret Rescue, or of course, get in touch with your vet. That's what they're there for.